Hi everybody, welcome back to Pilates for Dancers. In this class, I'm going to be focusing on strengthening the hips and the glutes. So let's go ahead and get started. You can start with three reds and a blue, actually. Um, this is gonna be a little bit heavier load, but the reason that I would start with three reds and a blue is just to kind of strengthen and really fire up through the legs as we're gonna be using the hips a lot. We're gonna start heels on the bar, nice and wide in the second position, turned out. Inhale, and on your exhale, pressing away. On every press away, I want you to think about exhaling, and I also want you to think about, as we press away, that we're starting to engage the core, starting to wake up. So pelvic floor, when we're going back, is working. Lower abs are working. Core sitting in through the abs, thinking about that neutral pelvis position, and inhale in, exhale back. As we start to warm up through the body, Make sure you're really giving a lot of good inhales and exhales, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, just to really help your body warm up as fast and efficiently as possible. A couple more here. As you start to warm up, you will feel kind of yourself just melting the shoulders away from the ears. Thighs are starting to fire. Good, and coming all the way back in. Coming to the toes now, and we're going to press out again, staying wide in that second position. Heels go under the bar, heels come up, and back down. Press away, and releve, come back in. Press away, and a little calf raise, and back in. Figuring out where you'd like to do the inhale and the exhale. I'm going exhale away, inhale here, exhale up, come back in. But just exhale where you need the support. Not forgetting about your core here, still engage through the core, keeping nice and firm, heating up through the center, heating up in the legs. Next time you come out, stay out. I'm going to just do big half raises. So eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the heels under the bar, keep them under the bar, bend the knees, come all the way back home. One more time, press away, drop the heels under the bar, keep them under the bar, bending the knees, coming all the way back home. Good. Toes to parallel position, ankle bones almost touching. You can even have, if they're not touching, about a ping pong ball size away and we're gonna press away. Staying up on that nice high half toe or releve. Exhaling back. I want you to think about squeezing through the whole leg, squeezing your legs together towards the midline of the body. And now I wanna add something extra here. Pressing away, now squeeze the hamstrings as you come back home. So here I'm gonna switch up the breath. I'm gonna inhale out, exhale, squeezing the hamstrings home. Inhale out. Exhale, squeeze the hamstrings coming home. Next time you go out, stay out, and moving to calf raises here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And just prance here, stretching through the calf muscles, not letting your body just kind of flop from side to side. Keep the core nice and strong, keeping the pelvis neutral. Nice neutral lumbar curve, not overly arched, not completely uh, tilted into the carriage. Both heels under the bar, bending the knees, come back home slowly. Same thing, up to your levee. Both heels under the bar, bend the knees, coming back home. Good, now bring your heels to a hip width distance apart and we're gonna begin bridging. So if by chance you have your headrest up, make sure that you bring the headrest down. Before we begin to bridge, I just want you to think about your breath here for a second. So let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, pelvic floor is engaged, low abs are engaged, ribs, everything in the center engaged and squeezing in. Inhale, exhale, pelvic floor, low abs, transverse abs, ribs, and inhale. On this exhale, we're gonna curl up, still engaging all of those things I just talked about, 
but curling all the way up to your bridge. Now the spring load is heavy, so your carriage is not going to go anywhere. But still, I want you to think about your body being the thing that keeps the carriage still, not necessarily the spring load. A couple more roll-ups, just like this. Inhale at the top. Exhale, roll down. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Exhaling up, one vertebrae at a time. Squeezing through the glutes, squeezing through the hamstring. Last time, up, exhale up. Stay here, core is engaged, and we're just going to pulse. Two, three, four, five, keep this carriage still. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Good, and knees into the chest and rock from side to side. Good, that was a nice little warm up. And next we're gonna move on to abs. So go ahead and roll up and let's switch our spring, rope, spring load to one red and one blue. Now what I want you to do is with your legs over the bar like this, we're gonna control and just come all the way back down to lying down using the core Pelvic floor is engaged, core is engaged. Good, arms come up overhead. We're gonna do a couple more roll-ups, just like that. Inhale here, exhale, and head, shoulders, upper back, mid back, low back, and up. Next time we roll down, we're gonna stay down. We'll continue to incorporate this little roll down into the rest of the class. Great, okay, just a little way to wake up the abs there. So you're on a red and a blue. Go ahead and grab your small loops. And we're going to move into just a little bit of supine ab work just to warm up, okay? So just pressing down with the arms. Arms are straight, wrists are in line with the rest of the arm. Exhale as we press the arms down. Okay, we're going to add some legs here. Extend back to tabletop. Extend back to tabletop. Squeezing the low abs in. Eight more. Last two. There's two. back into tabletop and now we're just going to continue to bicycle the legs. I'm doing my exhale as my arms come down. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, belly button is fine, and one. Good job. Good, your core should feel nice and warm. We're gonna obviously keep using the core in every single exercise, but I'm gonna move away from direct ab exercises now, just so we can begin to work on those hamstrings, those glutes. Strong, strength through the hip. Moving on to feet and straps here, just up and down, getting a nice kind of little bit of stretch through the back of the leg. We're going to modify this exercise in just a second here, keeping the tailbone in contact with the carriage. Now when we come to the top, I just want you to bend just slightly, just a slight bend, and you're going to keep that bend as you press down and away. Okay? Standing at the top, bend just slightly, and press away. You should really start to feel this right there where the hamstrings and the glutes connect. So you have a slight bend. You're using that bend to your advantage. Come up to straight, bending down. Now, if you feel like you get to the top and you're like, ugh, it's hard to push down, just don't straighten the legs. Keep them slightly bent throughout the entire exercise. The option is completely yours, what feels best to you and where you feel the most work. We're gonna really do some exercises that focus on the hip and the glutes, so I want you to make sure that they're nice and warm. 
Next time you come to the top, externally rotate, and we're going to keep the legs straight now. And just up and down. Remembering to breathe, keeping that neutral position with the pelvis. All right, now we're going to alternate legs. So right leg is straight, left leg is bent. Come and use the strength of a straight leg to come back in, just for a little variation here. Straight leg, pulling back in. Hips are staying level, pelvis is staying neutral. You can put your hands on your hips if you need to. Exhale as you come back to 45. Use the straight leg. Now, is this always the necessary leg to use? Absolutely not. It's just a different variation. I love Pilates because you can use so many exercises in so many different ways. You can just change a little bit of what muscles you're using by changing the breath and changing your intention or your focus. Get a couple more like this. One more on each side. Good, let's move into leg circles here. So let's start parallel, come up to 90, out to the side, externally rotate, bring the heels together, come back up to parallel, externally rotate, and back around. Now if it feels good to you, and I'm sure it does, Go ahead and let your pelvis imprint, let your tailbone and your spine imprint right here. When you come at the top, just for a little added stretch, feels really nice. Again, not something you have to do all the time, just a little variation. And let's switch directions, so pressing down parallel, turn out, come all the way around, exhale up. Are you using your core? Check back in. Everything gets so much harder when you engage that inner unit, the pelvic floor, the transverse abs, the low abs, the diaphragm for your breathing. All those things really fire up and get your whole system not only working harder, but when you go to stretch, oh my gosh, you're so much more flexible because the whole center of your body is warm. Good. Okay, let's come to center here. Come out to a straddle stretch real quick, just dynamically moving side to side. You can use the straps for leverage if you want to pull a little bit more. And coming into a butterfly stretch here. We'll stretch a little bit more in a bit. I just want to continue with the working part of this class. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Good. Feet off the straps and go ahead and hook them back on the pegs. All right, we're gonna do that roll up again to get out of this. So knees just come over the foot bar, engaging through the core, hands up, and exhale, shoulders, upper back, mid back, low back. Good, and try not to lift those legs up. Let's do it one more time, just for good measure. Controlling all the way down, curling, rounding down. Inhale here, exhale up. Nice job. <laughs> Keeping the spring load at one red and one blue, we're just gonna go into some knee stretches here. So foot on the floor is just a little bit behind, um, almost hip level, a little bit behind is okay too. You're gonna to just kind of do a little plie, your foot is in parallel, and you're gonna press back. We're still on a red and blue here. Engage through the glutes as you press back. Core is tight, eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it out, little pulses, pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job. Come back in, switch sides. So we're gonna do, again, on this side here, We'll do 16 of the large ones and then eight little pulses. So here we go. Squeeze right there where the glute meets the hamstring. Eight more, like this.
four, three, two, last one, hold it out, here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, bring it all the way back in. Facing the foot bar still, we're gonna do just an arm exercise to break up this little bit of glute exercise. Grab the straps. Feet are against the shoulder rest. And I'm gonna stay on a red and blue and I'm gonna use the long straps here. I'm gonna do some bicep curls here. So arms stay back and we're just going to curl in. Elbows stay high. Core is in. Should feel a nice stretch along your chest as well. Good, four more. Three, two, and one. And since we're right here, let's just bring our feet into where the headrest is. Sit back, hands are gonna come to a little diamond on your forehead and you're gonna press up towards the ceiling. Four more. Three, my arms are shaking. Two, and one, great job. Good, put the straps down for just a sec. We're just gonna change our spring load. Do a couple more arms here, and then we'll move on. Standing back up, feet are against the shoulder rest. It's a blue, so be careful that you don't lurch forward. Um, keep the core nice and strong. We're just going to press up. Exhale here. Four more like this. One, stay here, flip the arms so the palms are facing down, and just a little chest press for eight. Four is in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Little arm work break there. We're going to go ahead and keep the blue spring on and we're gonna grab our box now. Okay, box going on long ways here. I'm gonna use my left leg first. I'm gonna show you an easy way to get into this. So just kneel on the right uh, knee, and then you're gonna grab your long strap on the left side, loop the long strap underneath the arch of your foot, then walk yourself back, okay? Once you have both knees on the box here, I want you to think about the right knee is just at the edge of the box, and it's kind of, Center. It's a little bit left of center. And then what you're going to do is just bring the left knee in and press away. You may need to move your left hand in a bit, just depending on your hip configuration. Now, whatever you feel the more glute work, that's what I want you to do as far as flexing or pointing. With this exercise in particular, flexing probably is best. But go ahead and try and point and see what you think. Again, because this is a light spring load, you want to keep the core engaged. If you start to wobble or anything, or lose your balance, you've got that stability going. Next time you're out, I want you to come all the way down to the side here. You may need to reposition slightly so you're at the left edge of your box with the right leg. And pull up. Controlling on both sides of the exercise here, so we're not just letting that leg just Jam forward, we're controlling down. Four more like this. Two, last one, and one. Good. Stretching forward, putting the heel on the carriage. Foot strap comes off. Same thing on the other side. You can get off the carriage if you want, or you can just kind of come over to the other side. So, this time, left knee is close to the edge. It's center, but it's more on the right side. 
taking the large loop, taking the long loop, wrapping it around the arch of the right foot, bringing both knees here so that the left knee is now close to the edge and centered, and pressing back. This side is so creaky on my reformer. Squeezing through the glutes. Core is engaged. As much as you can, try and think of keeping your hips level so you're not really dipping into one hip for uh, like the supporting leg having a lot of work. Try and keep them level. It's hard to keep it completely level in this exercise, to be honest, but do your best. Okay? Coming in, moving that left knee a little bit to the edge, and we're gonna move with that second exercise. Sweeping up and down. Controlling on both sides of the exercise. Exhaling back. Four more after this one. Good job. Good. Coming back in and putting the step back on the table. Okay. Keeping the box on, let's do a, just a few overhead presses here just to warm up through the arms and give our glutes a break. We're going to put a red and a blue on. Okay. Chest is over the box. So right where your bra line is, that's where you want to hit. I'm going to do elbows nice and wide. Engaging through the leg, pointing or flexing, whatever you prefer. Energy shooting to the back of the room there and press away for eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Just a little distraction there in between. And now we're going to transition to standing. So take the box off. I'm going to do a red and a yellow. And if you want a little bit more work, you can do a red and a blue. Left foot up, then right foot up onto the carriage. Just a little bit off the edge of the carriage there. And we're pressing away. Standing up nice and tall, like we always hear, as if there was, oh, hello, Ruth. There was a string pulling from the top of your head, lifting you nice and tall. Think about your hips are over um, in a neutral position as opposed to arching or tilting. We're just in that neutral hip position. Both legs pressing equally away. Inhale here, exhale, press away. If you want, you can bring your arms out to a second. You can keep them on the hips, whatever works for you. Next time we press away, stay, squat down, press away. And come back to that squat, holding the squat. Here's six and five, four, core still engaged, three, two, and one. Come back to the squat, stand up, slowly come back in. Good, now slight variation on that. We're gonna squat here and we're just gonna press away for eight, seven, six, five, whew. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, I don't know about you, but that burns me. <laughs> okay, step off, and we're going to switch to the other side. Coming back around. And just for safety's sake, I always like to put my foot on the uh, non-moving part first. So I would do that first, and then the left foot up. Just a little bit outside the carriage. Now, I'm up against the wall here, or the ceiling, so try your best to stand up tall. I could probably be a little bit taller, but I'm not going to hit my head over it. Okay? Exhale away. Doing your best to keep your hips nice and stable. Make sure you're not doing any weird shifting to come back and forth. Try and keep the stability here, using the glutes, using every part of the glutes to press away. Abductors are working. Good, and coming out, stay in the squat, and press away. Woo. Last one. Come back 
your squat and up, come in. Now just those little skaters, so same deal. We're going to stay in the squat here and press away for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh man, come back in. I was going to use a red and a blue, and I'm really glad that I didn't. <laughs> okay, bring your foot bar up. And let's now stay on that red and yellow. All right, we're on the home stretch here. We're just gonna move into elephant stretching out through the hamstring. Heels are against the shoulder rest here, and we're just gonna press away. Such my favorite stretch. <laughs> Inhale out, exhale in. As you start to loosen up in this stretch, Think about your um, back being nice and flat, your chest reaching towards the carriage. Head can hang down low. Good, coming here. Now, coming all the way back home, you're just going to bring your feet to about mid uh, Mid carriage, maybe a little bit closer to the foot step than anything else. But we're just going to put our hands down on the carriage and just stretch forward for just a sec. Shake the head no and shake the head yes. A little plie here, bending up. Hands come back to the foot bar and we're going to do some leg lifts with the right leg. So we're just going to keep our hips nice and stable. Foot comes to the headrest each time. Next time, stay up and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good. So again, left leg now. Just those long range raises. Keeping the hips pointing down. Two more. Good. Stay up and pulse for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Coming down. I want you to go ahead and sit down onto the carriage. You're going to put a red and a blue on. Moving into another hamstring stretch here. So I want to do, I want you to scoot to the edge of your carriage as much as you possibly can. Feet are going to be hip width distance apart. You can press away to get your feet up there. Hands are on the outside of your feet. Come all the way home if you can. And just pressing in and out. I have the arches of my feet on the bar. Um, kind of gives you a lovely massage. Oh, it feels so good. Go at your own pace here. Pressing in and out. You'll start to feel a nice opening through the shoulder blades all the way down the back. And the moving in and out kind of gives your glutes a massage right along the sacrum there. Tucking the head if you choose. Tight little ball. Gripping more on the foot bar if you want more of a stretch. Next time, come out and hold. Breathe. back in, gripping longer, farther on the foot bar, stretch away. Good. Coming back in, we're going to bring our feet wide now and the hands to the inside of the bar. So it's up to you if you want to be turned out here or if you prefer to be parallel or a little bit of both. You can try both. Um, again, I have my feet on the arch. Again, wrapping the hands farther around the foot bar each time or when you feel like you have a little bit more stretch, making sure that you're exhaling as you extend into that stretch, rounding forward and hold here. Good. 
Good, bring the left hand to the right foot, right hand to the foot bar behind, or to the <laughs> shoulder rest behind you. And switch sides. Good, and coming all the way back in. And last little um, bit of stretching here that I want to do. So grab, uh, we're gonna put it on a blue. Grab your box one last time. Okay, and this is just going to be a lovely little stretch for everything, really. Um, hips come right to the end of the carriage. You're pretty close to the carriage. Hands are on the long box, and you're just going to press all the way away. You should feel like a downward dog, but way better. Okay, so you're stretching everything. The shoulders are working. You have some traction in the spine, some compression, some decompression. You should also feel a lovely stretch through the hamstrings. Not like crazy, but a little bit here. Press away. And bring your feet now as wide as the carriage into a second position. Pressing forward, same thing. Nice job. And last little hip stretch here. So we're gonna be on one red and just pressing back, stretching through the hip flexor. You can stretch through the hamstring, making sure you're still breathing. And go ahead and switch to the other side. Same thing. Little hip flexor, little hamstring. Do what feels good to you. You can alternate it. You can go hip and hamstring. got quite a few glute strengtheners in there and a little bit of a full body and as always with every Pilates class you're working your core. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I look forward to working out with you next time. Bye!